Hey, good morning, folks. Uh, guess what's happening? Uh, Osmo Pocket just got updated to version 0.1.08, and uh, this is going to be a game changer for all the Osmo Pocket owners. Why? Because uh, they added face detect autofocus. Now, out of the box, when I did the update, uh, the autofocus was like really different, and. Uh, <clears throat> You know, like one of my subscribers actually wrote me down that hey Das, uh, you need to do a test on this. So thank you Cool H for letting me know about that because I was doing FPV and all that stuff also. So we are going to check out autofocus on the Osmo Pocket and uh, we are run, going to run few tests on the autofocus update. Uh, the first test that we are going to run is exposure and uh, we are going to see how exposure changes and we are going to see what happens to autofocus when the exposure changes that's our first test second test we are going to run is i'm wearing darker clothes as you can see now that's my custom t-shirt uh, which i made for the channel uh, it's going to launch very soon but uh, that's my custom t-shirt if you want that uh, you have to wait a little bit because uh, i'm still in the process of designing the t-shirts and everything and uh, yeah so the second thing that we are going to see is um, what happens when a darker clothes gets mixed with darker backgrounds and uh, what you guys are going to notice is the autofocusing thing now i'll be walking through sunlight and i'll walking through sunshade sunshade and you're going to notice how this autofocus will change okay test number three is uh, going we are going to see pulsing so autofocus pulsing is uh is a very important thing because usually contrast detect autofocus system has a lot of pulses and uh, because they con constantly look for a contrast kind of a trigger so that they can adjust autofocus according to the contrast trigger and in test number four we are going to look what happens when you are in motion so when you're walking in motion and stuff like that whether whether uh, this autofocus will keep up with motion or not so that is test number three and uh, just to begin with what is face detect autofocus if you guys do not know that when image or light passes through the side of the sensors uh, before it was not able to catch the sensor and understand the two split images that passes through the lens usually dslrs uh, they analyze that and they make uh, image from those two split images and that's how the focus motors work now since this is a fixed lens aperture 2.8 the focusing system should work like this where it analyzes any light that passes through the side so enough of talk let's begin and we are going to see what happens okay okay so check it out i'm walking through the shade right now okay and then I come back to the sunlight and then I walk back into the shade and then I come back to the sunlight and then I walk back into the shade now usually at this test because the background is lighter it's going to focus now I'm going to shoot in a way that the sunlight is not coming from this direction the sunlight will be coming from the back usually it's not an ideal situation but if you are making videos for your family and home sometimes sunlights are at the back you should not shoot like that but then also we are going to test that out it's not a true test but it is a real time scenario so let's see that all right the sun is at the back and i'm walking kind of backwards or i should walk this way so see what happens to autofocusing i think it's still focusing on my face i didn't i did not selected face track or anything this is just by tracking the face track automatically turns on now and wherever i move it tracks my face so what do you think about autofocus with the sun at the back and you facing uh, with the sun Alrighty, here we are part for the second part of the test darker backgrounds darker clothes i'm wearing everything dark uh will it match but the sun is falling in a direction that you should not face any problem because that is the direction uh, you should shoot with and uh, we'll see if there is any focus pulsing or not now active track is not on or anything i didn't press on active track it's left as it is just point and shoot that's how i'm shooting it uh, no manual settings nothing okay then with darker backgrounds i go to shadows uh what happens and i'm in motion i'm not stopping or anything okay 
<coughs> so watch this very carefully this time osmo does not lose any sort of autofocus literally there is no autofocus glitch at all so this is a huge kind of update now the same stuff we are going to move around and we are going to see what happens if you have uh, sun at the back and you have lighter background what happens to your uh, autofocus system yes you'll be in the darker kind of shades and uh, but the question is you're going to notice the corners whether it's keeping the subject in frame or in focus or not do not worry about the exposure because this is not how you shoot or anything this is just to test out uh, the autofocusing whether it can adjust to it or not okay that's it okay face track is on active track is on now we are going to uh, do a motion test which means that basically i'm going to run and so you're going to see whether a darker background with darker clothes does it out of focus or not okay so three two one let's begin Alrighty guys, uh, Osmo did pass all the four tests. Uh, you might be wondering why am I wearing my cap backwards? I don't know why I get these comments that why I'm wearing it backwards. First of all guys, I'm bald. In a hot sun, sunny day like this, I need to wear a cap, so I'm wearing a cap. I wear it backwards so that when I face you guys, I do not get blocked by sunlight like this. It doesn't uh, make no sense, right? So I actually, that's the reason I wear it backwards while I'm shooting the videos. Uh, that's the only reason. Okay, so uh, now time to get my backpack. Uh, final verdict on the Osmo Pocket. Uh, did it change in autofocus? Yes, it did. Uh, did the autofocus improve? Yes, it did. Did it pass our first test where um, your autofocus was like maybe uh, like going from light to darker exposure? Did the autofocus succeed? Yes, it did succeed. Another question is that what happens when we go to shadows and then we come back to light? What about exposure and autofocus? Well, very good, done, very well done, uh, DJI. Literally, I was telling from the very beginning that contrast detect autofocus is going to kill this camera. They need to put a phase detect autofocus also. So they finally listened to that and they did put phase detect autofocus. And this camera is a revolutionary new camera. Do get this Osmo Pocket from whichever place you want. I'm not sponsored or anything. Nobody pays opinions better for reviewing a product with only 3000 subscribers. Um, if you want to subscribe, just subscribe. And if you do not want to subscribe, uh, do, do you don't feel the vibe of the channel, you're welcome to. So take care. See you guys again on another episode. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing? First, you gotta explain me where you got that hat. No, first of all, you're gonna explain it's on video right now. Yeah, that's why I need to I got it from GameStop. When? A few days back. That's the flash hat. I know. Where's the Tech 5 hat? You didn't give me any hat.